Rachel Dozal appeared on the national stage more than two years ago, and since then it has felt inevitable that others would follow her lead. And now it's finally happening because, of course, it's 2017. Adam Wheeler is his name. He was born a white male. As an adult, though, he became transgender and then kept going. He now identifies as a Filipino woman. Wheeler changed his name to Jadu. He travels around Tampa, Florida in a tuk-tuk. It's a kind of motorized rickshaw common in Manila. Kathy Rue is founding publisher of Catalina Magazine, and she joins us tonight to sort this out. So, Kathy, I'm glad you're here. Thank you. I'm a little out of it when it comes to what's acceptable and not uh, on the left, and so you're kind of okay. our spirit guide, our shaman. Thank you. Our Sherpa for this journey to the heart of insanity. Is this okay or not? This is totally okay. It's very American to be who you want to be. This person right. has the freedom to be who she wants to be, and she wants to be a Filipino woman. So that's mm. okay. That's okay. Yeah. So, um, so that means that physical reality is no longer kind of a limit to our aspirations. So, uh, if you can be, if a white man can become a Filipino woman simply right. by saying so, then could I become? I don't know, a successful hedge fund manager or an NBA star? Absolutely. Or? According to Jadu, which is uh, her name, it's what's uh -huh. on the inside that counts, not what's on the outside. So there's a, a growing movement. There's many people that are now identifying themselves as the other gender and as another um, culture or race or ethnicity. S uh, but so, but does, I mean, this would entail some kind of like, power shifts here a little bit. So like if I were hoping to take advantage of like a college, a college admissions program, could I change for the purposes of that? I'm, I'm not quite sure how it actually would work for college admissions. I mean, I, I haven't heard of a case, but it sounds like it's, it's accepted. It sounds like it's um, okay. And Jadu is not hurting anyone. Jadu is fine. Uh, if these people want to be well, who they no, want to be, not, that's look, fine. Look, I'm not attacking Jadu or mad at Jadu uh, and a little confused by Jadu, but, you know, I'm open-minded from California. Right. Really. If this but person's I wonder, not so hurting anyone, then for, what's wrong? Well, I don't know. I mean, you can, look, I mean, the pie is only so big. So, for example, the federal government has all kinds of set-asides for female-owned businesses. Right. And they get contracts. You know, businesses have an advantage in getting massive government contracts if right. they're owned and operated by a woman. Right. Um, so could Jadu just show up? Or could I say, you know, my name is now, I'm, I'm a Filipino woman. Right. And I now qualify this for this program. There are, only, there are only so many contracts, so maybe I beat you out for one of them. How would you feel about that? Well, that, that's fine. If you identify as a woman and you're not hurting anyone, there's nothing wrong with that. If, if you want to be a woman, that's fine. That's perfectly fine. Even if I got the contract over you who was born a woman i don't change my appearance you must be more qualified I'm, then you were more qualified if you got the but contract it's not over it's me. not a matter of qualifying we have programs that set aside on the basis of sex and qualifications in that sex and this person well, sure, now wants you to be part it, of I, that sex so if you okay, want to be so part of that our doesn't sex, bother you you're more at qualified all. no it's, it's a matter of qualification and welcome welcome to our gender is there any limit then to like the, the, the make-believe becoming real that you're describing. I mean, is there anything I can't be? If I can be a different sex, a different race, could I be a different species? Well, if it's not hurting anyone, then what's the problem? I mean, it's very American to be who you want to be. So I, I think it's wonderful. I think it's, it's beautiful. I think it's great. We used to call it, and I'm not attacking anybody at all, but we used to say, and Freud himself, the father of modern psychotherapy, said right. that that would be delusional to imagine that you are something that you're not. I mean, people were institutionalized for calling themselves Napoleon, famously. But as you said, it's 2017, so it's okay now to be transracial and transgender. It's, we're accepting. We're an open society. Right. We're so modern you society. Would not, so if, like, if you had a friend who said, by the way, you should know that I'm Napoleon. Don't send me to Elba, right. but I'm Napoleon. I'm going to invade Russia or whatever. And that's you okay, would, yeah. That would not be a sign of mental <laughs> illness. That would just be a sign of, like, personal actualization. Absolutely, yeah. As, as John Dew said, it's what's inside that counts. And, and if I want to be friends with the person who wants to think that, that's my choice. And that's that person's choice. Is it your choice? So that's the question. This is my final question right? to you. Are the rest of us allowed to remain reality-based, or are we going to be punished for not playing along with other people's fantasies? What if I say, Jadu, I'm, I'm going to call you Bob. Like, I grew up next to you. You're Bob then. You look like Bob now. Should I be punished for calling Jadu Bob? 
Well, no, I think that's the beauty of it, that Jadu can be who Jadu wants to be, and you can be who you want to be. So that's the beauty of our country. You can be who you want to be. Wow. Yeah. This is an, uh, an elaborate defense of Elizabeth <laughs> Warren, uh, clearly. <laughs> you just mounted. It's like totally demented. But I appreciate um, Thank you. you giving us the new rules. Thanks, Kathy. Thank you. No problem.